we're providing during Mary Monarch Festival Week some activities up here to draw in the visitors to the park. In my uh, area here or my booth, I'm talking about the Ahula'i or the Tili Frame Cape. And being up here at 4,000 feet in the rainforest, this is an excellent thing to demonstrate, not only for the visitors, but I wanted something unique that the locals don't get to see. This is definitely a traditional craft. According to the board here, um, there's actually different ways that is, it is actually made. So in certain areas, they actually use the green tea leaves. But how I was taught, I'm not sure if it's a uh, Hana thing, but um, how I was taught by my grandfather is we use the dried tea leaves and we use that to attach to the um, netting. If you look at this picture here, this is actually me when I was 17. And this is the first cape I actually made. This one here that I'm making now, this is actually my sixth one. And a lot of people, just because it's called a rain cape, they figure, yeah, you can use it just when it's, uh, or in a wet place. But if, say, you're in like Kona, where there's really no trees, there's only these low, you know, uh, shrubbery, this will actually provide shade. And then also, this guy is actually a fisherman. So out in the ocean, you don't have that shade, right? So these guys were like, okay, we need some sort of shade. So they made a, a small, little smaller version that they could take out on the canoes with them while they go uh, uh, fishing and would give them that same protection. This is our link to the culture. This is a main place, um, you know, for that link to the Hawaiian culture. So this is where you gotta come before you uh, do your thing down at the Mary Monarch Festival.